there's something evident in Nigeria politics, it is the fact that there's no permanent friends or enemies. You can work with anybody when you have the same or similar interest when your interest does not affect my interest. Nothing is permanent in Nigeria politics. Someone in party A today can move to party B tomorrow and even move back to party A before the end of the day. It's politics and there is no crime in doing that in Nigeria. Movement from one political party is smooth and when anyone has a problem with his, with his or her political party, the best or the next route for such person is to seek the support of opposition or another political party. That's not new in Nigeria politics and it is a common trend which has been in existence since the beginning of our democracy. The recent and significant defe defections are that of seven governors from PDP named G7 led by the then governor of Rivers, Rivers Ruti Amichi to join all progressive congress before the 2015 election. Also, the Bukola Saraki decision to decamp from the ruling party of an opposition party, People's Democratic Party, ahead of the 2019 election was also another significant movement in the political arena. Hardly will any administration finish its tenure in Nigeria without a substantial defection from one political party to another. Only a few of Nigeria's prominent politicians had been in one political party since the beginning of the new democracy in 1999 to date. The defection of Atiku Abubakar from a All Progressive Congress to People's Democratic Party to contest for presidential can, uh, president can also be tagged another big move in the political circle. Atiku Abubakar left the ruling party a bid of 2007 election for Action Congress to contest for the office of the president and he returned to the party prior to 2011 election. Atiku left the party again in his bid to be the president of Nigeria despite a lot of accusation against the party by Atiku Abubakar. He returned to the party again prior to 2019 election and was made the flag bearer of the party in 2019 general election. The, later, the latest is, movement, is the movement of the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, decision to join the People Democratic Party and the deputy governor of Undo State to change from the ruling APC to opposition PDP in his state ahead of 2020 election in both states. The reasons for most defections are similar. They are always in a bid to secure a ticket for maybe bigger ambition or to return to the same post which is under threat. Atiku joined APC because of his interest to be president and joined PDP back due to the same enthusiasm after APC failed to listen to him. Saraki left APC after four years for some reason and returned to PDP that he left four years ago and Godwin Obaseki joined PDP because of his interest in contesting for a dual state number one citizen. With the present problem in APC and a sign that Ashiwa Jubala made Sinumbu position to contest for the office of the president might be under threat in the ruling party due to the internal political crisis in the party. Ashiwa Jubala Tinumbu is free to follow the suit of others in achieving his aim, although he hasn't decamped from one party to another since the beginning of the new democracy in 1999, except for the merging of his political party, Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, with some other political parties to form the ruling APC before the 2015 election. Even when Ashiwaju was the governor of Lagos State and the People Democratic Party were controlling the majority of states in the country and federal government, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu didn't dine with them, even though he was the only governor that is not in from the PDP in his region at some point. Ashwadu didn't submit to the pressure of PDP. He played his game and gained control of the area entirely from the only governor that's not, that is not PDP at some point to no PDP governor in the southwest. Bolatinumbu might have said some bad words against PDP in the past. PDP might have accused Bolatinumbu of some wrongdoings before the present moment, just like others have done before merging and Nigerians failed to use it against them. But Bola, Bola meant Sinubu and PDP should be calm that Nigerians have short memories and forget things quickly. 
working together of both Tinubu and PDP is possible. It can be fruitful for them. As a matter of fact, Bola Ahmed Tinubu will be an addition to any political party and will be a significant disadvantage to his old political party. Okay, what do you think? Should Bola Ahmed Tinubu consider PDP? Can we say they have too many bad blood and cannot work together? Are there no permanent enemies in politics? Indeed. Mm. <laughs> do you think with Bola Ahmed Tinubu, PDP can win 2023? Can APC achieve anything without Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Let us even have your say concerning this. Of course, these people, they can do and undo. So nobody can even vouch for all these uh, politicians. Like the, their slonga, slogan, permanent interest is what is more paramount than any other thing, whether enemy. They could be enemy today, tomorrow, they will be friends. So anything is possible. So some people might say, oh, it is not possible, we can't do that. But we are hearing, you know, from, you know, from quarters that maybe they want to revive this uh, alliance for democracy. Whether that will be the, the case or it might stay put. And, you know, never can tell, no one can tell, maybe... With all this, they might still support him, even in APC. Maybe this one is just a, you know, just little thing that just really happened. This is a dissolution of a NWC that he himself is not even happy how it's being dissolved. Who knows? They might still come back. They might still do things together. They might still flaunt him. They might still, worry might still support him. But from what people are saying today, you know, it's like there's no go area again. No going forward. He has to use his tongue to count his teeth. But anything can happen. Like I always say, if these people can re use all these tactics to do the right thing in the country, social amenities, let us even have a, a decent environment. That is what Nigerians are asking for. If they can use all these their tactics here and there, it would have been a good thing, but it is just to their own advantage and to the disadvantage of the masses. Well, let's hear what people are saying. That's my opinion. Anything can happen. It might stay put. It might... It might go back to PDP if at all, but some people are like, "Oh, it's not possible." But hmm, don't don't trust these people because Nigerians do any little thing they've already yielded in. Okay, as for Tinubu to join PDP, he can't even try that unless he wants to spend his rest of life in Kujie prison. He will agree to continue to be a slave to Fulanis if he wants to enjoy all his loot. That is the reward of anybody who wants to play the role of Afonja. Take note, it has been, it has been it for been it, it has been you no know, forever or it will ever be. Did not we never allow Senator Bola Ahmed to be president? Never. Why? The only they only use the West to achieve whatever political games they want and dump the West like a trash, which we subjected ourselves to. From our greatest hour to our dashed hope, MKU, it will not change. Yoruba should have a rethink how long are we going to continue like this we live we have used several years preparing for this madness how many years are you going to before use before our brains we make we wake up to sanity pdp doesn't need tinubu because there's no vacancy for him there next story please it is funny how people mask their fears in the delusional or Francis Tinumbu haters went to town with the death of his ambition, yet nothing dominates the new space but discussion regarding Tinumbu, his politics, his ambition. One would thought Tinumbu's ambition is to forcefully take over governments by force of arms. Tinumbu did not get to where he is by being led by the nose by social media comment, uh, comment, commentaries. Okay. Elections are not won on social media. 2023 is not tomorrow. A river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. Okay, so what are, someone say, what are you saying? Or what are you trying to pass across? Please be explicit and stop beating around the bush. Sorry, okay. Uh, you have brain. Yeah, same thing can be said of the great Awulowo or Abiola, isn't it? Delusional utterances, indeed. Okay, Tinubu is, is a spent us that is not needed in PDP. It's like leaving one house and be sleeping outside. Mm. Tinubu is APC, APC is Tinubu. PDP should die with their wishful thinking. Nigerians might have short memories, but I don't have short memory. Uh, Bola met Tinubu the camp to GDP. They are finished. Okay. 
Is it BGP? If elections will be free and fair, APC is dead even before 2023. If Tinubu must convert to PDP, let him not convert with Ushumole. He's a bad market. <laughs> well, so guys, I do think a, a Bola Tinubu will be able to become to PDP, but we are hearing that a, they are trying to revive a uh alliance for democracy but it can still put in apc is his choice but let's hear your opinion in the comment section